What's good, y'all? It's your girl Titus Simone in the cut. And if you cannot tell by the title of this video, we are going to be using um, Camille Rose. We're trying it for the first time. I have never tried Camille Rose. So, literally trying it for the first time. So, yeah, let's just get into the video. <laughs> moisture milk and i heard this is really good and i also got the honey hydrate y'all i'm so mad because it came in this regular bottle bro i literally ordered it okay so i was trying to get that bottle because i feel like it would just be better like you know for thumbnail purposes but i'm just have to use this picture because this just looks so regular but anyways if you haven't seen it on tiktok it normally comes in this bottle and i thought that they had that bottle at ulta because that's like what's on the website so I ordered this stuff specifically from Ulta thinking I was gonna get the bottle that looks like a honey bottle, but instead it's this, but I'm still gonna try it and we gonna see like how it turned out and it is gonna be cute and you know, like what it's gonna look like. If y'all hear like metal moving, it's Pierre in his cage going crazy. But anyways, yeah, we finna get started. So we starting on fresh hair. Um, this is what my hair looks like, y'all. I ended up fixing my hair. If y'all didn't see my last video, y'all, I put a purple dye on top of my ginger that I had in here, and it just turned out really bad. But anyways, I ended up fixing it by just putting burgundy over everything. So this is how it looks now. But yeah, we started out on fresh hair. Um, we're just gonna see like what happens. For my scalp, I have this um, Shea Moisture Apple Cider Vinegar Anti-Dandruff Leave-In with salicylic acid. Y'all, this stuff, I'm just wearing by this. Like, this is the best stuff I have ever put in my scalp. Like, I literally put this in my braids. Like, you know, when you, like, y'all haven't seen the wig I just had. So, when you, um, get your braids done, even if you just get, like, regular braids that you wear out, put this in your scalp. Y'all, I didn't itch for a whole month. So, recommend this. And then I also have this, uh, rosemary oil, too. So, yeah, that's what we're gonna be putting on our scalp. Um, we're gonna do a wash and go type of thing so we can see like the curls like right after just to see how they look all right y'all so i changed my mind i'm doing bangs so with the bangs you still want to have four stations however i do it in like an x instead of like this so it'll be two lines down this way and two lines going that way but with this i just finger part so i don't have like a bunch of harsh lines in my hair because that's what you don't want Y'all ain't gonna wear to see that. And then I'm gonna come back to when I'm like at this, these sections. All right, y'all, so this side is done. Y'all can see how the curls came out. They are so defined, they're almost perfect. Um, They are not crunchy, so soft, and my hair smells good, y'all. It smells like, it's like really sweet. And then I'm using this rosemary, this rosemary oil. So it's like really, I don't even know, but it smells like perfume. It just smells good. So, yeah, so far, I really like this stuff. Even though it was fifteen dollars a piece, like I think this was fifteen, like fourteen, and this was fourteen something. So yeah, even though they was thirty dollars all together, I kind of like that stuff, y'all. And then on top of that, a little goes a long way. Like in the back, I can't even see, but in the back, the curls look good too. But um, I ended up using like, actually like a little bit too much, y'all. And I didn't even squirt that one. I just did one like. A uh, squirt of this and one squirt of the uh, honey hydrate, and I was like, "Dang, I got a lot left over." So a little goes a long way. Um, it's easier to add than it is to take off. So I'm just throwing that out there. But yeah, I really do like this stuff. So I don't know. I recommend because it helps the um, product like penetrate, if that makes sense. So I just. 
I like this just to make sure it's damp enough. And before I add the um, Camille Rose stuff, I wore my scalp. And so, like I said, this is the apple cider vinegar anti-dandruff leave-in. And yeah, I just put this all on my scalp. Like, everywhere in this section. And then I take this and I do the exact same thing. This you really don't need that much. Like it's so, like I just put like literally about that much. And then you rub your hands together, y'all. And it does warm up, like for real. Like you feel it getting warmer as you rub your hands together. So, that is that. Y'all, look. Yeah, this stuff is so good. I'm not even gonna lie. And then after that, let me wipe my hands off a little bit. But um, after that, yeah. Yeah, so this is how it looks so far. Um, I just took the ponytail holder off. Um, right now I'm trying to give it a little bit more value. I'm going in with my watch pump, or you can use a pig, but either one. We'll do the trick. So anyway, y'all, this is how it turned <coughs> out. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Be sure to pop that like button, tap that bell, comment, subscribe, share, follow me on all social media links down below. And I'll see y'all in the next video.